Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the error code 0xc0000022 that a computer is running Microsoft Windows Non-Core Edition. And you're coming across this weird error pop up on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into the registry editor, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it before you proceed. So if you have to restore it back, you can easily do it. So in order to create the backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Keep export range at all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward and now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Now you want to go down to Microsoft and double click on it. Locate the Windows NT folder. So you have to scroll down a little bit. Go ahead and double click on it. Current version. Double click on current version. Now locate software protection platform. Right here. Just left click on it. Now on the right side locate something that says skip re ARM. Go ahead and double click on it. For the value data field you want to go ahead and double click on it. And you want to set the value data to 1. So delete the 0. Type the number 1. Select OK. Close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.